Scooter Shooter comes with two different release platforms, the caliper release platform and the thumb trigger release platform. The thumb trigger platform comes attached to the mainframe of the machine when it ships. This is the caliper release platform. It is made to be used with a caliper type release that has a wrist strap. It is hard to get repeatable consistency using a caliper type release because you actually have to actuate the release each time with your finger. That's why we recommend using the trigger release platform. The trigger release platform is going to give you more consistent results. This doesn't mean that the caliper release platform cannot give consistent results. It just means that you have to be much more precise, in particular in the way that you trigger the release and the way that the release attaches to the caliper release platform with each shot. We tend to see that shots with the caliper release platform spray side to side when triggered inconsistently. Since the trigger release platform comes attached to the machine, if you would want to change to the caliper release platform, you just take a 5 30 seconds Allen wrench, insert into the screw here at the base of the thumb trigger release platform, loosen it, remove the screw in the washer, like so, set it aside. You will take the caliper release platform, slip it into the same location, and just attach the screw in the washer right back to where the caliper, right back to where the trigger release platform was tightened down. Both release platforms should be able to swivel freely at the attachment point and both should drop upon the shot. Now we're gonna attach a release to the trigger release platform. We're gonna loosen the trigger armature and clear it out of the way and, sug, and snug the set screws back down. Now we're gonna loosen the nylon tip set screws, the lockdown screws, for the trigger arms, and we're gonna loosen the set screws on the bottom of the platform for the release fingers. So now that we've done that, we're gonna slightly snug these back up where they're still movable with your fingers. But still negotiable. So we'll just slightly loosen this. And now I can manipulate everything by hand. So now we're gonna attach a whipper snapper three finger release. We're going to insert it into the release platform with the thumb trigger side towards the trigger armature. So the thumb, the thumb trigger side will be facing outward from the machine. We'll insert that release in there. And now we're just going to situate these the release fingers into the finger cutouts for the release itself. We're gonna find a good place for it. Now we're gonna tighten the bottom set screws slightly to lock them down just a little bit more. Or we'll come up to the top. Now we need to find a flat place on the release side in which the nylon tip set screws can be tightened down to the release to hold this release firmly in place. And we don't need a whole lot of pressure here. Slightly above snug works perfectly. So we'll get these locked down fingers situated, snug them, and we'll situate the whipper snapper against the release fingers here and tighten down the nylon tip set screws. And like I said before, slightly above snug will work just fine. Basically all we need to do is secure this release into this platform so it doesn't move when we actuate the shot. Next, we like to actually take 
the thumb barrel off of the release and trigger it right off of the armature for the release itself. This gives us a little more repeatability and consistency when triggering the release. Next, we'll take the trigger armature and move it into place. So we wanna move the armature to where it's contacting the thumb trigger right at its pinnacle point. That way we have a little more leverage. And we're going to tighten down the armature with a slight gap in between the trigger armature and the release trigger, like so. You wanna make sure your release is in a cocked position before setting the trigger armature. You're gonna move the trigger armature into position right above the pinnacle part of the trigger release itself. This is gonna give us a little more leverage than any other location. And now snug it down. Leave a little bit of air space in between the trigger mechanism on the, on the release platform and the trigger lever on your release itself. This will give us a little more repeatability each time we fire a shot. Now you've attached the trigger release to the trigger release platform. Next, we put the bow in the machine. We have found that the fastest, most consistent releases come when using a D-loop. Keep in mind that the Hooter Shooter was not designed to be used with back tension releases and cannot duplicate what the finger shooter does naturally. 